All right, so we're going to try some of these products here. So this is the Clinique's uh, Super Restorative Day All Day All Skin Types Cream. The full size of this product is ridiculously expensive, so hopefully a lot goes a long way because if I love it, <laughs> I probably won't be able to ever afford to get more of it. It's $125 a bottle. So, a luxury that I definitely will not be able to afford anytime soon. Okay, so yeah, a lot does go a long way. So that's a really good thing. I wasn't even sure if I was going to try it. But I figure, why not give it a go? Alright, so that's on. We're not going to do a full, full face. So I'm not going to do my um, concealer and foundation and the whole nine yards. It's just too much, in my opinion, for a regular day. And I'm going to use a brush that I just found. I don't think these, these are fine, right? As long as you wash them. So this is a MAC. 275 I think is the number on it so whatever alright so I'm going to use my new palette that I've only played with once so far this is the elf 18 hit wonder so I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna I'm wanting to practice doing a holiday look for you guys so just gonna mess with some colors here and see what happens I was going to try to use the viewfinder as my mirror, but I don't think that's going to work once I take off my glasses because I am basically blind without them. Well, not really, but close enough. So I'm going to start with, I think, peach as my transition all over shade. Okay, so the brush definitely changes the game here. I got a lot more pigment from it with putting it on with this brush. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not. And this palette definitely doesn't seem to have the same amount of fallout that the back to the new Bait Classics did. So I'm happy about that. I think I'm gonna go turn off the TV in the background. I will be right back. Alrighty, that's better. It's a little bit quieter. So I am gonna use this brush for everything just because I wanted to see if it made things easier and better for me, which it does seem to be doing. So I've got my base down. And like I said, I want this to be a bit more bolder than my usual eye look. So we are going, and I love purples, and I'm really liking some of these green looks I've seen lately. So why don't we try going with the royals? We're going to try purples. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Royal, and I'm going to do my entire lid with it. Now, this isn't giving me the color payoff I was hoping it to do, so I'm going to try to go in a couple of times, and I'm hoping it is going to be buildable. Okay, so it definitely is buildable. Now, I don't have any kind of uh, primer on my lids or anything like that. And there is definitely fallout onto my cheek here. But that's okay for the moment. So, you can definitely see that. So, we'll get the other eye done. I am going to use my Gigi Gorgeous brush right here, the one I got from Ipsy, to actually brush that away because it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. That is really nice. It's super soft. Although it's leaving the product a little bit on my face, probably because of the lotion earlier. So it's coming out. Ooh, got a bit of a purple shimmer going on underneath. 
Alright, so with that on, I think what I want to do is like go in just in the center here with a darker purple. And we have velvet in here. So we're going to dab into there. I hope this works. Oh yeah, that does. And then we'll just kind of buff it around so there's no hard edges. Okay. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. But definitely is picking up over here off camera in person. Alright, so that's on. I think we need to do something with the upper lid here because it's that um, peachy. Is just too peach. It's just kind of standing out too much for me. Now we have a purpley color here. I've got two. Let's see which one. So I've got this one here and this one. I think this is a little too pink. So I think under the brow bone we're going to go in with danger. Just to get some of that peachiness to go away. And that is also a shimmer color. I think I'm liking this look. No, I am really new to makeup, guys. Remember that when you are judging, going, oh my god, what are you doing, girl? That is horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? Like I said, just remember, I am pretty new to makeup again. I used to do it when I was younger, but as I got older and into the job force, uh, or workforce, I guess is a better way to say it, I worked with kids so they don't care what you look like. My mom was never big into makeup so I didn't have her to learn from. So it's really hard when you don't have that role model to work from. So I'm just going in and adding just a tiny bit more to give it that bit of a oomph. Okay, so that's the eyes. I think it looks nice. Um, I think we're going to go ahead. I will try the tattooed eyeliner that we got from Ipsy. I'm going to do that off camera just because. And I will put on my mascara. I'm going to use my Litsy, or the rat, whatever, waterproof mascara. This is not my favorite, but. I don't, since I have the both of them open, this one and the one we got from Ipsy in October, I want to cycle through the two of them so I don't use one and be like, oh, now I have to use that one. And since I'm not actually going out today and this look is just for you guys and for me, I figure why not. I think we may also try the Gigi brush to do some highlight and see if that works. That I might do on camera. Yeah, I'll do this on camera and mascara and eyeliner off camera just because okay so i've got four reds here um let's see what we got so we'll start with the newest to the oldest i have the smash box red which we got in our top box for november this was my favorite product we got so i'm going to do a swatch here so it is definitely glossy. I love it. Other than the fact that it's very, very sticky. Even as it dries down, it's just my hair, if it's not up, it sticks to it everywhere. Next up is the Betty Boop Red, which was Ipsy from September. They're actually really close, except for the Ipsy is very matte. It's maybe a bit more orangey to the Ipsy. Then I have my Maybelline um, Red For Me. So this is the red that is supposed to work on every skin tone. That's this one here. Actually a lot, very close, all these colors. 
and then my last one I'm not sure what brand this is it has an E on the lid uh, yeah I'm not sure and this is in the shade this is New York yeah I don't know um, this is in the shade 4 so 04 on the catwalk so all three reds very close to each other definitely have a shade preference this one's a bit more mauvey I think I think today we may actually go with that one just because I haven't worn it for a while all right guys so that is my Christmas holiday party type look for you I hope you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and give me the thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell we are gonna have lots of videos coming up in December um, we're always gonna have a full uh, fashion video of some sort on Fridays but there's gonna be lots in between Monday to Friday now I'm just trying to get as much content out there for you guys that is holiday themed I'm not doing vlogmas I just don't think I could keep up with that but I do want to try to get you lots of content and then in January we'll probably go back down to the four fashion videos beautiful hand eh? plus two unboxings and then the one comparison video so we're gonna have at least seven videos a month December like I said I've already got two more planned so one this Friday and one I think I have it set up for Tuesday next week and then there's gonna be a whole bunch of others I have good food coming again so we'll definitely check those out and we'll go from there so I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a great December bye